certainly was in love with uh, uh, the double helix story when I was 17. But I must say that when I started working on chemistry, um, there were different areas that, uh, that would uh, equally appeal to me, which were going from theoretical work to uh, experimental work. I think in the end, I managed without even deciding to combine the two things because I work on uh, techniques that, uh, I use techniques that are mostly biophysical, but at the same time, I work with proteins, which was one of the labs of, of my, my youth. We know that if we get some, some problems, we, we go and get an X-ray and then we see our bones or whatever. Now, with an MR, which is a younger technique from X-ray, we have exactly the same relationship. There is a, a, a technique called MRI, which we all have heard of, that uh, essentially is like X-rays, but for, uh, for soft uh, tissues. And then we have a, a, an MR, which is the equivalent where instead of working with the tissues, we work with the whole, uh, with, the, with the molecules and allows us to determine the structure of proteins. We have been working for a long, long time, like now is almost 20 years, on a, a disease that is a rare disease. Um, it's called the Friedreich ataxia which means that uh, the people are affected, the patients, um, have a progressive loss of uh, um, motion, coordination, and even speech. The, the work that we have done um, started when, in uh, 1996, the gene of this disease was finally found. So having found the gene means that you, you can then know uh, the protein that is uh, encoded by the gene. And so we started to work straight away on this small protein, the fradaxin. This is where we, we stand. We are trying to understand uh, really the whole pathway uh, in order to understand the, 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 uh, the role of fradaxin in the pathway. And of course, our hope is that once we have done that, then we can also design ways to, uh, to, um, to cure the disease. One of the, the most beautiful things that we have been doing was really to, um, to understand the, the link between fratoxin and the iron sulfur cl cluster pathway. Really, to, through determining a structure, we could really clarify uh, uh, the, the mechanism and the, at least partially the role of, of the protein. Oh, I mean, first of all, uh, I really love what I do, so uh, working long hours is not a problem. But having said this, there is lots of uh, other things beside the uh, science. So I love to go to concerts, which, you know, so I, I go relatively often. I read a lot. Um, I, you know, so I have a very nice social life with other people. We often um, organize with uh, my husband, who's a fantastic cook, in addition to being a fantastic scientist. So we, we have lots of uh, friends that come for dinner. And so, I mean, really, I, I don't think I, I miss anything. I, I wouldn't really like to work nine to four, five or nine to four.